Hello, my beautiful water signs. It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for the water signs of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars. Please look at your natal chart to see if you have a Venus or a Mars in any of these signs, because if you do, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates specifically to your love life. Mars if you're a man and Venus if you're a woman. All right, quick announcements, guys. I am doing personal readings. You can go to my website. I will put the um, information below. It is www.psychicsoundsbyb.com. Click on the scheduling tab, and when you do that, you will automatic, you can pick your day, you pick your time, and it will automatically um, um, translate everything for you as it relates to um, timing. Like if you're on the East Coast, you can set your time, what the availability is, once you select that, it will auto-calculate what that time is for you, all right? For others of you, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. If you do subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click the notification button or the little bell so that you can be notified as my videos get posted. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started with the beautiful Pisceans. How are my mermaids and mermen doing, guys? All right, what are the general energies for the Pisceans for the next couple weeks? What are the general energies for the Pisceans? There's the general energy. What are the energies that are feeding into this energy, Pisces? These are the energies feeding into it. And what is the outcome of these energies, Pisces? This is the outcome. All right, Pisces, what do we got going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? Pisces, you do have the Page of Wands. Pisces, this could be um, someone that is giving you messages of love, creativity, uh, passion. So there could be a lot of passion in your life right now. There could be a lot of love in your life right now. There could be a lot of creativity in your life right now. This could be somebody younger than you that is assisting you with a creative endeavor. You could be dating somebody that is younger than you. Okay, so that could be what's going on. This could be a fire sign. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian person in your life. So please be aware of those particular energies. This is news, this is information, and this is communication that you are passionate about and that other people are passionate about. So please be aware of that energy. This could also be for some of you considering traveling. So you might be considering going on a trip somewhere, or you might hear of somebody going on a trip somewhere. There's something about this where something is gonna be happening as it relates to communication regarding a feather in your cap. So please be aware of that. This could also be a feather in somebody else's cap as well as it relates to creativity, passion, communication, uh, new entrepreneurial ventures or entrepreneurial endeavors. Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy. Young and fiery energy. So what is the energy that is affecting this page of wands? You do have the nine of wands. So when you have the nine of wands, there's something going on maybe with a fire sign in your life that you have put up your boundaries, that you have said, you know what, I'm not taking this anymore. I don't want you in my life. You can, you can send me texts. You can send me love. You can send me passion. You can be passionate with me if you want, but I have been hurt way too much. And because of that, I am putting my walls up. And because I'm putting my walls up, you know, this could also be Pisces where you cut somebody off and now they want to be back in your life. Okay, so please be aware of that particular type of energy. For others of you out there, this could be persevering energy. So even though you have been in relationships, you've been in business partnerships, you've been in family dynamics that have pained you, that have hurt you, you are simply not giving up, not yet. You are willing to try again, but you are doing so with your eyes wide open and you are doing so with appropriate boundaries in place because you don't want to get taken advantage of anymore. Pisces, I'm sensing for some of you, you do have somebody that is coming back into your life they were transient, they'd come in, they'd go out, they'd come in, they'd go out, and you're like, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm just not dealing with this anymore. This could even be, for, for example, 
um, people at work, it's like one minute they're really nice to you and then the next minute you feel like they're stabbing you in the back. Um, this could be something going on in a family dynamic as well. This could be something where you might be dealing with like, uh, like a narcissist type of energy. So please, please be aware of that. This could also be for some of you Pisceans out there that there are people that want to be in a relationship with you, but the thing about it is, is maybe you are in a relationship, excuse me, you are in a relationship with uh, someone else right now, and so you're putting your boundaries up and you're letting all of these other prior um, lovers or prior boyfriends or girlfriends know, you know what, I am in a loving and happy bond with somebody right now, and I cannot accept these particular texts and messages and so on and so forth because I don't want this to affect the loving bond that I'm developing with somebody else. So that could be what's going on for some of you out there. For others of you out there, you are reticent to get involved in a, um, a pyramid scheme. You are reticent to get involved in some sort of um, you, like your investment. You don't know if you want to invest in some sort of new experimental treatment or some sort of new invention or product that is coming out because you've been burned in the past. So that could be what's going on for some of you out there. For others of you out there, maybe you heard, okay, in the past, this could be what has happened already in the past, you heard that um, somebody that you were dating or somebody that you were seeing was actually with somebody else and now your walls are up and you're like, I am not gonna take this anymore. Or you find out that this person that you used to date ended up being a really big player, okay? And you're like, oh my gosh, that is not the way that I took this particular relationship, but now it appears that this is the way it is, okay? For some of you Pisces out there, you don't want to get involved in a relationship right now um, as it relates to just being built on the premise of sex. You want something more. You want something more fulfilling. You want something where you can celebrate one another. So that could be what's going on for some of you Pisceans out there. So what do we have going on as it relates to the outcome of these energies? You do have the chariot card. So when you have the chariot card, this could be for some of you where you decided to leave a bad situation to get into a good situation and now that you're in that situation you are victorious. This could be with a Gemini, a Cancerian person or a Piscean person. This person has great significance in your life right now. Uh, this could be all about travel. So for some of you Pisceans out there, you don't know if you want to invest money in, um, in traveling with somebody because maybe you heard some information that they are they are not who they say, or they're not who they said they were. That could be, it might have something to do with foreign people, foreign lands. You might be, uh, you might have your guard up as it relates to somebody that is foreign of you, okay? This could be somebody that works in the medical field. You could work in the medical field. You could be getting messages as it relates to uh, the medical field. You could be assisting somebody who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian. Um, you, you might be taking them to the hospital. You might be taking them to a procedure. You might be there to help them. Keep the center, keep the calm, support them. That could be what's going on. For others of you out there, this could certainly be where you need to ask questions. And if you get an answer, you need to ask another question. You really need to get to the bottom of a situation as it relates to the victory that you are about to incur regarding any messages of passion, creativity, new endeavors, protecting yourself, protecting those that you love, um, making sure that you don't give up too soon on something, okay? This could be a new health regime. This could be a new relationship. This could be anything, all right? So you might want to look at that and others of you, this could be where you do need to put those boundaries up. You need to get these negative people out of your life that are players, that are narcissists, and you are victorious because you decided to walk away. You were done being hurt. You're done being used. 
you're done being abused, you're done in this in and out type of situation, you're ready for stability, and you are going to be victorious as it relates to this. Now, for some of you, if you are um, if you're in a situation right now where you have a lot of people calling you, um, they want to get back in your life, you might not even be answering their texts or their emails or their their phone messages because you know what you know that your future lies somewhere else okay so here this could also be where some of you Pisces out there you are currently getting messages as it relates to maybe traveling for work you might be getting headhunted so be aware of that type of energy and you there might be something going on here where you just don't know if that's the direction you want to go all right so just take your time we do have mercury going retrograde very soon it's already in its shadow period so take your time look at the facts and make the best decision that you can and if you can wait until after mercury goes direct that might be the best course of action all right guys i wish you much light much love and many blessings namaste Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. How are you? It is B. So what do we got going on for the general energies for Cancers? General energies. There's your general energies. What are the energies that are feeding into this energy? What are the energies feeding into it? These are the energies feeding into it. And what is the outcome for you? What is the outcome? Cancers, what is the outcome for you? There is your outcome, Cancers. All right, Cancers, what have we got going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? All right, Cancers, the energies you have going on for you for the next couple weeks are the moon card. This could be something where somebody, you yearn to be with somebody. You want to be with somebody right now. Maybe you're crying for them. Maybe this is your children. Your children might be of the Cancerian flavor, or you could be a Cancerian. And it's like you're separated from your children for whatever reason, and they're crying for you. They want to be with you. They, they contact you at night. They talk to you at night. That could be what's going on. For other Cancerians out there, there is a level of deception that might be going on right now. This could also be Cancerians. Your psychic abilities are extremely heightened at this present point in time. This could have something to do with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio person in your life. And something could be uh, culminating or developing around the new moon energy or around the full moon energy that is going to be happening here shortly. So please just be aware of that. And if you want to know when these new moons and full moons are, please go back to my monthly videos. I make it very clear uh, when, these, um, when these particular events are happening. So just be aware of that. Um, this could also be for some of you uh, communication happening in, in, at night. This could be, uh, you might be on call. For example, if you work at a job site or you work at a job where you're on call, you might be getting called in at night. Your pager might be going off. Your cell phone might be going off, whatever it is. And you have to work at night for whatever reason. You're working into the late hours of the night, early hours of the morning. So that could be what's going on. For some of you Cancerians out there, you might have a child that is a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that may be asking you to buy a dog or get two dogs or get more pets. So be aware of that particular type of energy. For others of you out there, this is definitely an energy that I'm seeing here. Um, I just heard the Beatles song, The Long and Winding Road. Is that Paul McCartney? Okay. So um, there might be something going on regarding that with, with uh, some of you Cancerians out there. So maybe you want to listen to the lyrics for the long and winding road. Okay, so what do we have going on as it relates to your uh, energies affecting the moon card? The nine of cups. So there is something going on here. I am sensing for some of you out there, some of you Cancerians out there, you were at a party, you were at a gathering, you were at a place where there was drinking, frivolity, and fun. And basically what happened is you found out that someone was, um, was not being loyal to their girlfriend, their boyfriend, their husband, or their wife. 
and this happened when somebody got a little bit too inebriated and they didn't they didn't use proper judgment and so now that this is happening there's this level of deception you might have a friend that is asking you hey you know what I was hanging out with that girl or I was hanging out with that guy you know and I know you saw me could you please keep this on the DL I don't want my wife I don't want my husband to know that could be what's going on and as a friend you might be sitting there going do I want to even in you know allow deceit into my life how do I want to handle this situation for others of you out there a wish was granted but you may have gotten something that you know be careful what you wish for because that could be what's going on um, around this particular type of energy for others of you out there this could be a birthday celebration this could be a wedding this could be an engagement this could be a bachelorette party a bachelor party so definitely something going on here where there is a party could be happening at night for whatever reason this could also be for some of you Cancerians out there where there's a little bit of egotistical type of energy here and this egotistical energy around this person or around yourself or around others is showing the darker side now I got the dark side of the moon by Pink Floyd so um, you might want to um, look into those particular lyrics because this could be something where you know and the thing is cancer is you are ruled by the moon so you might be going through a lot of weird moods as we go through these full moons and these new moons in in Leo and Aquarius so you might want to watch your actions around this time see if I get anything else from this cancers if if you're invited to a party if you're invited to a gathering and you are in a situation maybe where you're married but you're not loyal or whatever or or something or somebody around you is married but they're not loyal and you're asking them to come out or something like that there could be some development here where you know there's an uncovering of deceit okay there's uncovering of deception and And this could happen around the full moon or the new moon so use your best judgment because you don't want to be put you don't want yourself to be put in a situation where or you don't want somebody else to be put in a situation where they get caught red-handed so just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy so what do we have going on as it relates to the outcome of these energies you do have the page of cups so when you have the page of cups this is a Pisces cancer or Scorpio person in your life um, there's definitely something surprising about this person or you're surprising this person or this person surprises you this could be a child this could be um, <clears throat> somebody younger than you this could be somebody that maybe you ask them to keep a secret but they tell like one person and they say oh don't tell anybody but then it's like boom it's like wildfire it just goes everywhere okay so please be careful of what you tell a Pisces cancer or Scorpio because it does appear for this time frame that either they misunderstand the information or they do not keep their cards close to their chest and then now you've got to deal with um, someone in your life that is either deceiving you or you're deceiving them or something like that you think that I I'm, I'm picking up that for some of you Cancerians out there you think that this other Pisces Cancer or Scorpio is really naive and stupid but they're really not they're really intuitive they're very psychic they're very put together they're very um, they're very successful all right and again this could also be you so people might be painting you into a picture that you really aren't or you might be painting somebody else into a picture that they really aren't so please be aware of that for some of you you are going to a party or you're going to a gathering that is east of you if it is east of you 
uh, from where you live, I would recommend that you take uh, a second look at wanting to attend this gathering for whatever reason. Don't know what it is, but there's something going on that's hidden in this particular environment. If it is to the west of you, then, then you should be okay. Okay, now just take that for what it's worth. Use your intuition. Define for yourself. Is there something about this invite? Is somebody trying to set me up? Is, is something going on that might be revealed that I'm not going to like? What is happening here? So if it is to the east of you from where you live, you might want to be careful. It, if it is to the west of you, then you should be okay. You'll have fun. It'll be at night. You're going to be getting in radio contact with people. You might be surprising somebody at a party. This might be a surprise party at night. It definitely could be. So if this is, you know, a surprise party, if this is a surprise party for your son, your daughter, whatever it is, know that um, when I talk about the directions, okay, the east and the west, if it's to the east, then there's something unexpected that might come up. There was something that might be hidden. Maybe you've got, maybe you're, you, you get a flat tire. Maybe there is like a nail in your tire or something like that and like you're halfway there and you get a flat tire. Okay, so I'm not saying that this is going to be deception. I'm saying that there's something hidden going on here that you need to be aware of if you go east. If you go west, this is something where you feel like, you know what, I feel, I feel okay with this. I feel like I'm going to be around friends. We're going to have a good time. You know, it, it's all good. People are really excited about it. And I'm sensing for some of you Cancerians out there, this could be where you go to the surprise party or you have the surprise party, um, you know, totally organized, but, but very few people show up. It's like three or four people show up. It's like you had planned for like nine to 20 people to show up and like four show up. So just be aware of that. And that could be because of like travel issues, People are getting lost on the road. Nobody can find their way to the location. So just be aware of that energy. All right. Okay, guys, I hope you like this reading. I hope it helped you out in some way. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you? What's going on for the Scorpios out there? For the general energies, what are the general energies for Scorpios? There's your general energy, Scorpios. And what are the energies feeding into this general energy? These are the energies feeding into it. And what is the outcome of these energies, Scorpios? What is the outcome? This is the outcome. All right, Scorpios, what have we got going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? Scorpios, the general energies for you for the next couple weeks are the Four of Cups. So for some of you Scorpios out there, there could be somebody that's trying to get a hold of you. This could be a past relationship. This could be an ex. This could be somebody that wants to, you know, get a hold of you and you're just like, access denied. I am so not dealing with this crap, all right? I am not dealing with your crap. I am not dealing with any of this stuff. I am too busy with work. I am too busy with what I've got in front of me. I am loyal to what I have in front of me. And so now I am not going to pay attention to you. For other Scorpios out there, you might be getting an offer. This could be an offer on a home. This could be offer on a, on a vacation home, offer on a boat, a piece of property, anything that is a possession. You might be getting a counter offer or you might be getting an offer that is really good and you should take it. But because you feel like, oh, maybe, you know, I want 8,000 more for that or whatever you might want to reconsider, all right, because this is a blessing in disguise, basically. And, th and they're telling me, like, don't look a gift horse in the mouth right now. So please be aware of that. So this could be any type of message, any type of message of emotion, love, kindness, and compassion that is coming towards you. And you're discounting it and you're saying, no, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not going to accept your apology. I'm not going to accept this. I'm not going to accept You need to get over that, Scorpios, because this actually is kind of like a, a blessing in disguise. And whatever you do with it is fine. You just need to make sure that you're standing in your integrity regardless of what this is. And if you, if you block somebody out, I just, 
I heard for some of you Scorpios out there, you feel like you're being blocked. You feel like maybe you were, um, your, your messages were blocked or your phone was, or somebody blocked you from getting to their phone or something like that. But you might want to investigate just a little bit further because this is basically saying, you know, maybe they just, you know, maybe they just weren't available. Maybe they were busy at work and they didn't see that you were texting them. They didn't see that you were, you know, that you were um, trying to get a hold of them. And, uh, or, or they didn't see you were trying to get a hold of them. And so what happens here is now you've got this stubbornness that's going on and you shouldn't be stubborn in this case. All right, so just be aware of that. Make sure that you've got the right people in your life and make sure that you look at someone's integrity, their actions, not their words. All right, so just be aware of this. This could also be for some of you Scorpios. You know what, you need to limit your drinking to like three drinks when you go out because for some of you Scorpios out there, when you go out, you've got like a bartender or a friend saying, have another, have another, have another, have another, and you're drinking and you're drinking and you're drinking. And it's like, you need, you need to stop that. You need to say, my limit is three. My limit is three. I'm not going to have any more wine. Okay. I'm not going to have any more alcohol. I'm not going to have any more drinks. Uh, this could also be for some of you Scorpios out there where somebody around you says, this three is my limit. Okay. And you're like, handing them another drink and it's now that's their fourth and they're saying no I don't want that third drink or that fourth drink so that could be on a more mundane level what's going on but there is a level of stubbornness there's a level of boredom it seems like you're a little bit miffed about something for some reason and it could be because you're being blocked or it could be because somebody's trying to shove something down your throat that you just don't want to have anything to do with right now but there is something regarding this situation that does have some piece of information that will serve you well so you just need to find out what that is okay so what do we have going on as it relates to the energies feeding into the four of cups the tower so basically what happened here scorpio is something really unexpected happened something shook you to your core something shook you to your foundation you were in a situation where you felt everything was perfect, everything was fine, and all of a sudden something happens out of the blue. You know, you get knocked off course, you get, you, you know, the crown gets knocked off. This could be also a reorganization with business. You, your business could be undergoing a reorganization. There could be issues with your home. There could be a fight in the home. Somebody could fall down the stairs at home, so please be careful of that. You could have a lot of activity in the home and your kids might be falling down. They might stub their toe. They might scrape their knee because they just were not paying attention with where they were going. For others of you out there, I just heard the following. And this is a phrase that I saw the other day, but it seems to be making sense here. Um, it is thunder is like thunder is grand thunder or thunder is big and thunder is grand but it's lightning that does the work okay so that might mean something to some of you out there if you're having having any issues with your electricity if you're having any issues as it relates to um you know fires or whatever if there's something that up to code please make sure you check this i am sensing for some of you if you're drinking and you're smoking do not under any circumstances smoke in bed or fall asleep while you're smoking because there could be a fire uh, this fire could be the result of a, a lit cigarette or a cigar some form of fire is going to be happening for some of you scorpios out there so please be aware of that like i said you could be reorganizing uh reorganizing your your company um you might be um you might be throwing stuff out of the house so for some of you, you might be looking at your possessions and saying, okay, I'll take this, I'm not taking this, and I'm gonna sell this. So that could be what's going on for some of you Scorpios. For other Scorpios out there, this could also be, I'm gonna be honest with you, this could be, um, this could be, and I know this sounds weird, you may, somebody's propositioning you for sex or you're propositioning somebody for sex, 
and um, you're not having any of it and and or they're not having any of it and the thing about it is the reason why you're not having any part of this like a, a, a sexual relationship because you might already be with somebody who I mean this is like this is climaxing I mean this is this is somebody in your life you have great sex with they rock your world you rock their world and because this is happening you are no longer um, hooking up with somebody else so that could be how this is working out for some of you Scorpios out there for other Scorpios out there you could be throwing somebody out of the house this could also be for some of you Scorpios if you're going through a divorce right now you don't even want to take any texts or calls or anything from the person you're divorcing or they don't want to take any texts or calls from you that could be for others of you um, you might be trying to get back into somebody's life and because of some type of information that got revealed or something unexpected happened they're basically saying access denied I don't want to have anything to do with you I'm throwing you out of my life get over it you know um, I wish you the best but I'm not coming back so that could be something going on here um, trying to see if I see something else pay attention when you are driving pay attention when you are driving very important especially with mercury retrograde right now in Virgo for sure because that's happening in your 11th house of hopes wishes dreams goals networks and associations yeah I'm just sensing for a lot of Scorpios you're getting rid of people out of your life that no longer serve you and you're focusing on three or four people three people in your life that you're just you're building your your world around right now because you know you just you just don't have time to be dealing with this this other energy for whatever reason so what do we have going on as it relates to the outcome of these energies Scorpio you do have the high priestess the high priestess is a Piscean person or an Aquarian person this Piscean person or this Aquarian person is psychic I'm just going to be honest with you they're psychic um, they have a high intuition you could also have high intuition this could be where there's something going on here I'm sensing for some of you Scorpios out there this could be where maybe somebody you're dating is getting rid of X after X after X after X but they're not telling you because maybe you're in a relationship with them and they're getting all these texts from their ex and they are getting proposition for sex and everything and without you even knowing it they're going in and saying I am with somebody I am married I do not want to have anything to do with this um, you need to stay out of my life but the thing about it is is that they're not telling you that they're doing that they're doing that on their own so that could be what's going on so if you feel like there's secrets or you feel like there's some something going on you might want to check and maybe just ask some roundabout questions and just see how that person reacts to those questions um, this could be somebody in your life where their name begins with a B or a J yeah this could also be for some of you Scorpios out there where it's like you know you were bored and you were you were kind of over your what was going on in your life and here comes this person that you know their name begins with a B or a J and, and they're, they're a Pisces or an Aquarian and they're knocking your socks off it's 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 almost like you can't believe it you know but you're still there's something about this situation Scorpio that you just you can't put your finger on or this could have been a situation for some of you Scorpios where you didn't respond to a to an offer or to a question or you 
you didn't you you didn't um, digest the information appropriately, and then because of that, what happened was this person like throws you out, or this person throws you under the bus, or this person I want to say throw under the bus, but this person comes at you from left field, and you're like, what is this? Why are they acting this way? What are they hiding from me? So that could be what's going on for some of you. You're trying to get to the black and the white of a situation as well. I need to clarify this high priestess, guys. I'm sorry this is going to go a little bit over, but this is bothering me. Why is the high priestess here? What is it about the high priestess? What's going on? What does she know? What What's happening? What's going on with this Pisces or this Aquarius person? Yeah, Scorpios, um, this Pisces or Aquarius, they might be, um, I see what this is. Okay. This person might have a lot on their plate. This might be something where they've got like um, two jobs and you don't even know if, you know, do, should I even call them? Because if I call them, are they going to be in the middle of work? Are they going to text me back? Are they going to contact me back? You know, am I going to get thrown out of the house? I mean, what's going on here? So this could be something going on related to this. You may have been doing too many things at once, or they may have been doing too many things at once, and it's like you need to get back down to the bare bones of the situation to, to understand the process and to understand the problem. For others of you Scorpios out there, there could be, for some of you Scorpios, somebody found out that you were seeing somebody else, or you found out that they were seeing somebody else. And they reveal the secret to you and it kind of, it just really throws you off by the way that they perceived how that they were going to handle this. And so what happens now is like, you know, you're having that discussion with them and it's like you only see your point of view. You're not seeing their point of view. But in the end, in the end, I think they are going to make a decision and throw somebody out. I really, really do. Or this could be for some of you Scorpios, you find out that there's that maybe the person you're with is seeing somebody else and you throw them out or they throw you out because a secret got revealed regarding juggling two different people. This could also be uh, two forms of, um, of income and you're trying to figure out how can I... How, and it might have something to do with psychic abilities. It might have something to do with um, with secrets. It might have something to do, maybe there's something uh, being planned underneath the surface. And basically what that is, is that you're, you're asking yourself, okay, do I really need to have two jobs or does my wife really need to have two jobs or does my girlfriend or my boyfriend need to have two jobs? Why are they doing this? What is the reason that they have two jobs right now? I don't understand it. And because they have two jobs, there's little time for me and I'm just sitting there bored and I want to spend time with them, but it always seems like I have to, I have to work around their schedule or something like that. This could be somebody that is keeping their schedule secret from you for whatever reason. Or this could also be where somebody finally opens up and says, here's my schedule. This is where I'm going to be at next week. This is where I'm going to be at the following week and so on and so forth. Pay attention when you get texts from this person, this, this Pisces or this Aquarius, make sure that you're paying attention to these texts because there's something in it they're trying to inform you uh, regarding uh, money, regarding finances, regarding a secret, regarding um, a situation that is that came out of the blue. So that could be something that's going on right now. For some of you, this could be where um, 
somebody in the at the corporate level um, they lose their spot so they get they get dethroned so to speak okay guys I know that was a little bit strange but I really hope that that made sense to you I wish you much light much love and many blessings namaste